The Fisherman's Knot. The Fisherman's Knot is also called the Englishman's Knot, the True Lover's Knot, the Waterman's Knot and the Water Knot. And I personally use this one a lot. Generally it's used for tying two ropes together of equal thickness and the simple version I will show you right now. And basically all it is is we get our two lengths of rope like so, one above the other. And what I'll do is I will just go round like that, form a loop over it, round, and then take that underneath like so. So let me just get my fat fingers out the way. So we've just basically tied an over knot and hand knot there, and I will pull that up tight like so. And I'm going to do exactly the same on this side here. So I will go over, form a loop, go over itself, come round through, and just pull up on that. And you can see now that what we've done is we've tied these two together, and as you draw them up, they will interlock and keep themselves nice and tight together. The only problem I find with this knot is that if you put a lot of tension on it, it can be quite difficult to undo. Um, but my favourite version of this knot is to actually double it. And so what I'll do is I'll just undo it again and then I'm going to double it and show you what I do with that. And in the past, I've had a tow rope on my car and yes, usual scenario, you're towing someone, they've run over the tow rope and it snapped. And in snapping, I've had to fix it and the, the knot I used was the double fisherman's knot and it's very simple. So all we do is we do the single knot but we double it. So what I'll do is I'll take the black cord here now and I will go over the orange cord and then I'm going to wrap it round, go round like so once and then over again twice like so and then bring it up so it runs down the middle like so. Oh, bit tricky and then just pull it up and so what we've done is same as the first knot we've just doubled it and put it across and what I will do is I'll tighten it up now and then I'm going to do exactly the same and you see it forms this rather nice rounded shape knot on here. So what I'll do is I'll do exactly the same for the orange side. So I'll take the orange lead, I will wrap it round the black lead like so once, twice and then go through all the loops that you've created with the orange one like so and then pull it up tight and then as we pull these two together they will lock into place and that isn't going anywhere. So that has formed a very, very tight knot in our rope, joining these two ropes together. And like I've said before, I had a tow rope that snapped on me. I put this particular knot in my tow rope and in fact it is still in my tow rope now. But I do know that when I go to handle it, it is as stiff as they come because it's really pulled up tight, obviously with the tons of vehicle that it's been um, pulling along. Um, and another, th I, I, to be honest, I use this knot a lot for tying um, cords together. Um, but another wonderful thing about this knot is that you can use it, say for example, if you've got a necklace and you want to have an adjustable necklace, this also makes a great um, knot for that. And so what I'll do is I'll just stop the video, undo this, and then show you how to tie it on a necklace. So this is the second part of the knot, um, if you're watching the first one on the fisherman's knot. And this is the one I use if I've got a necklace or something like that that I want to be able to adjust. By tying these two knots in it, I can actually make the necklace itself larger or smaller. And what I'm doing in, is I'm going to tie in a double fisherman's knot. I always use the double one 
because it just gives that little bit more grip when creating it. You can use the single, you could get away with it, but I always like to use the double and it just looks a little bit better as well um, when it's done. And so the easy way of tying that is basically I will first of all take it across like so, bring it underneath, over, underneath, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck it through itself like so. So take it underneath the first bend, underneath the second bend, and then pull it up tight like so. And as you can see, I've now tied one side of my necklace using a double fisherman's bend. So I'm going to do exactly the same to the other side. So I'm going to take it over and then I'm going to go around once, twice, and then where that loop is there, feed it through that loop, like so. Then there's the second loop, feed it through that loop, and pull it up. And you can pull it up so that only a small amount of end is poking out at each end of the knot. Pull it up a bit tighter, and then as we pull that up tight, that's going to tighten up quite nicely. But then as we come to untighten it, we'll pull it now, and it's a lot stiffer. But as you can see, as I'm pulling both knots here, I'm actually shortening our necklace as such. So if we do it nice and tight, it will be a really nice knot to have on a necklace. So if, say for example, that's too short, I can just grab both the ends here, and I can extend the size of the necklace and it does it does slip but if you put a lot of tension in these knots it means it's not going to readily slip but it's a good way of making a necklace adjustable so that is the double fisherman's knot in a necklace